So in this very special Christmas Eve tutorial, we're going to create this snowball rolling down a hill effect. So I'm just going to keep it very simple. Um, I'm going to start with a fresh scene and I'm going to start by creating a plane. And I'm going to make this 800 by 800. And the segments, um, I'm going to make 80 by 80. We need quite a few segments. So I'm just going to hit R and um, I'm just going to rotate this, make it a slope. Go to my perspective viewport. Whoops, that should be 80 here. Okay, we have this grid. That's going to be our hill. So next, um, I'm going to create a displacer deformer. Put that inside the plane. Click on displacer and go to shader, choose noise. So that kind of gives us like a noise uh, displacement. So I'm going to try and make it look like snow. I'm just going to go to noise and choose maybe, definitely not mod, uh, maybe turbulence. Yeah. And I'm going to increase the global scale to maybe 300, spread it out, and we have this kind of pattern. If you want to increase the height, you can just go here and make it 40. That's maybe too extreme. I'm just going to make it maybe about 18. So we have this kind of effect. So next I'm going to create my snowball. I'm just going to go to sphere, make it a hexahedron. So it's poly faces, four sided faces. I'm just going to move this up and I'm just going to make this maybe 50 and the segments I'm going to make uh, maybe 96, maybe 48 actually, don't maybe need too many. And I'm just going to push this back a bit. We can go to the uh, front viewport. So it's going to drop and then it's going to roll down the hill. Okay. So we're pretty much set up. Um, next, I'm going to go to my plane. And now after displacer, I'm going to add a collider deformer. This is what makes the kind of snow indent effect. I'm going to just add that after displacer. So the colliders, I'm going to drag and drop my sphere into that list of colliders. I'm going to go to object where it says restore shape. Basically, we don't want the kind of uh, snow to bounce back because, you know, once snow is crushed, it stays crushed. But if you wanted to do fabric, you'd just leave this at 100. But with snow, we just want to set this to zero. Um, advanced, I'm going to make stretch and relax one. I'm going to make the steps four. And the size, I'm going to start with 12, go from there. So I'm just going to play this back and nothing happens. That's because we need to add some rigid body tags. So I'm going to go to plane, tags, simulation tags, collider body. Click on sphere, tags, simulation tags, rigid body. And let's hit play, see what happens. Nothing happens, that's because, um, well, in your uh, project, something should happen but I've got my gravity set to zero so I'm going to edit project settings uh, dynamics general gravity I'm going to make this 980 which is the real world value for gravity now finally something's happening um, we're getting a very slight dent effect so I'm just gonna go to collision and make this 24 and what you can do is if you click on the tag for the sphere size increment and make this negative 14 maybe that kind of helps uh, increase the indentation as well I found out so as you can see now we're getting a definite dent uh, the ball is kind of um, smaller than the dent it's kind of strange so you can control that with two values, the size increment, which I just did. So make that um, minus eight. And also on the collision deformer, the size here, I'm going to make that maybe 16. And let's just see, yeah, that's a bit better. Still a bit of a gap, but um, that's kind of more subtle, but looks much better. Bounce, yeah, we don't want it bouncing too much. Quite a bit of friction. And I think uh, we can reduce the segments on that, to be honest. 
you can hear the laptop whirring away that's because um, the scene's a little maybe too complicated you can just reduce these values down slightly get a quicker simulation yeah there we go it's kind of quieted down a bit and the good thing is you can just adjust these values on the fly so we can make this sphere much bigger if you want it bigger there we go I think that's quite nice so that's a very simple snowball tutorial and um, I hope that was useful please share this video and uh, thanks for watching